antibiotic free. You've probably seen that label in the meat aisle at the supermarket, but what does it really mean? Well, you can probably assume that all the other meat you've purchased without that label contain antibiotics, but is that a bad thing? What makes antibiotics something you would or wouldn't want in your food? Antibiotics can be wonderful. You were probably prescribed some of the last time you were sick, and that's because antibiotics are a type of medicine that kill bacteria, especially bad bacteria. They cure infections, and without them, we would all be victims of early deaths. But they can only be effective when used properly. Which brings us back to our original question. What makes antibiotics something you would or wouldn't want in your food? Well, seeing as 80% of all antibiotics in the US go to farm animals, they probably are already in it. But why? Well, the simple answer, money. Antibiotics help prevent disease in animals, but they also make animals bigger. And bigger, healthier livestock means more product to sell without taking on any more animals. Now this enlargement side effect started off as just that, a side effect. In 1951, antibiotics were approved for use on animals by the FDA as a means of curbing disease on farms. And it makes sense that if you can prevent diseases before they start, you'd want to use those preventative measures all the time. Right? So that's what farmers did. But they didn't realize the negative side effects of overusing antibiotics. If you use antibiotics once, it'll kill as much bad bacteria in your innards as it can. Use the same antibiotics 100 times in succession and eventually you'll start getting rid of more bad bacteria than your body is used to. And that leaves an open space where other bad microbes, ones that are impervious to the detrimental effects of antibiotics, can multiply and reside. This effectively creates and perpetuates superbugs, super strong mutations of bacteria that no known antibiotic can cure, which is exactly as scary as it sounds. The Center for Disease Control believes that antibiotic resistance is one of the world's most pressing public health problems. Because when we don't have the medicine to cure people from things like super strong cases of pneumonia or E. coli, people die. And if a superbug starts popping up in livestock that will eventually be consumed, anyone eating meat can be a victim of these dangerous infections. So right now, the food industry is at a crossroads. Antibiotics are incredibly valuable, yet they do come with some risk. How can farmers ensure that they're being used and not abused? Enter the FDA. In 2013, the Food and Drug Administration released a paper that details a plan to eventually phase out the use of antimicrobial drugs in animals. Antimicrobials cover not just antibiotics, but all microorganisms that we're able to cure. While the administration can't ban these drugs entirely, they're looking towards a community plan to offset some of this overuse and hopefully offset the growth of superbugs. This plan would require veterinarians to sign off on any antibiotic treatments with restrictions that those drugs would only be administered to cure diseases and not for growth purposes. This means that vets would need to visit farms, which for the 1.3 million farms in the US means a lot of vets making a lot of house calls. Whether the system works or not remains to be seen, but it's clear that we're pushing towards a future with more judicious use of antibiotics in our foods. Healthy livestock means healthy humans, so pushing towards better practices at the source will have a reverberation of positive effects all throughout the country. Antibiotic free. It's a label we should all be paying much more attention to as the future of food may mean the end of their overuse.